Good morning! So my name is Fokina Pup and this is my tutorial on how to get rainbow models. So if you just want an RGB color changing element on your model, then you've come to the right place. If you're looking for a model where you're able to select a specific color from, from the range, then I have a second tutorial uh, for that that I will link directly below. So go and head over to that if that's what you're looking for. But for RGB models, here we go. So I'm assuming you've got your model into Unity, so I'm going to need you to click on Model, Playable Layers, and see if you have an FX layer and then down below a menu and parameters layer. If you don't have these, you're going to go ahead and need to create one. If you do have them, you can completely skip over this part. I'll put the little timestamp on the screen. So go ahead and right click in assets somewhere that you'll remember. I normally create a, a file called like FX bits and bobs or something. Or if you've downloaded a model, it's typically sort of under a controllers or an expressions folder in there. So right click in assets, click create, animated controller, this will be your FX layer, so I call it FX. Then go ahead and click on your model again, and drag and drop the FX layer into the FX layer on the right here. You're going to go ahead and need to do the same for menu, so right click in assets, menu, create, VR chat avatars, and parameters, and you'll have to do the same for menu as well. Click back on your model and drag those into the menu and parameter spots. So from here, um, and this is a very, very important step, do not miss this step because you will cause yourself a world of pain. And this goes for creating any animations or anything going forward. Please, for the love of God, right click on your model and click duplicate. If you don't do this, um, and you just start using the normal, like the first model, sometimes it gets locked in what I like to call the biker pose. Um, and if it gets stuck in the biker pose, it makes putting clothes on and everything a nightmare. And it's a whole thing to get it out of this pose. So just for the love of God, create a duplicate when you're doing anything when you want to press play. So you can go ahead and click on your first model, click hide, and then click back on your second model, just to make sure that you'll end up using the right one. So, once you've clicked on your uh, second model, you need to open your animation tab. If you don't have the animation tab, you're going to want two tabs really for the duration of this. Um, the first one, if you click on Windows up here at the top, Animations and Animator, you will see the tab there. Um, and the other one is down here, if you click these three little dots, and then you can sort of add Animator here. So now we can get to prepping. If you already had an FX layer, welcome back. So, I'd like to get on with all the prep before we start, so let's get on to doing these RGB parts. Anyway, you're going to need to go ahead and click your FX layer now. In layers, click the plus and name it something such as RGB. That's what I'm going to call all mine, RGB. Um, it is case sensitive for these things, but I always put mine in caps. Um, but you know, if you have some, some variations, just be aware it's case sensitive. Um, and then press the gear here and set the weight to 1. Next, you're going to want to go into parameters and add a ball. Call the ball RGB. Um, go Then go back into the expression parameters and add a second ball, also called RGB. Confusing because you've got the express like the expressions tab. Uh, sorry. It's a bit confusing because you've got the parameters tab and you've got the like parameters menu. But there you go. You've got to add one into both. Next, you're going to need to go into your expressions menu, click add, create one called RGB, assign an icon if you want, you can put some like little glasses or something, it can't be a very big picture but it helps you find it when you're in VR chat. Um, select the type as toggle if you want to be able to just turn it off and then turn it on, and select parameter RGB ball, which you created earlier. So now all the prep is set up, you'll need to create your animations. So the simplest way I've found to do this is essentially swapping materials. So whatever part you want to change colour, say the eyes, we'll do the eyes for this sense. You need to find the eye material. There's a few ways you can do it. You can go into materials at the bottom, but if you're not sure which material you've designed, click on your model and find the area. So for example, I can click eyes. Uh, my model face and then it will come up with all the materials that are on my face so as the eye you'll be able to find it there so mine is here you need to copy this so right click it show and explore uh, and copy and paste it it will then appear in unity is like the same name copy so eyes purple copy or whatever rename it so call it RGB eyes or something memorable for you and 
on the right hand side you'll see a little box called color adjust you'll need to tick that and you'll see a little box underneath color adjust called hue shift and you'll need to tick that too um, I'm not sure if you need to tick this or not, but I would leave it ticked because that's what I've always done. Just make sure the hue replace ticked is also on. Um, and the way you get it to be automatically changing colour is your hue shift speed. So I'll go for about 7.5 because I like mine to vary quite fast but not too rapid. 7.5 is right for me. The lower the number, the slower the change. So if you want something very, very delicate and barely notable, go for a 1. And you can go you can go very high with this so if you want like rainbow colors you can go as high as you need so that's all the prep done next job is the animation itself Woohoo! so make sure you're clicking on your duplicate very important part please god be clicking on your duplicate go down here and click animation create and name it whatever you want so i go for rgb on or rgb off they're the two animations we're going to create so starting with rgb on you need to click record <coughs> Click record and drag the eye material onto the eyes. So grab it from the bottom, drag it into place, and then stop recording. Next, you need to create RGB off, so that'll be your second animation. Click record and then drag the original base eye material onto your model. So grab that from down the bottom and drag it back to where it was originally. If you notice your animation hasn't recorded anything, you'll need to drag the old material the second material onto the eyes then hit record and drag the original material back on then you've got your two animations and you can go off and on again so final little bit of prep is we need to go back into the fx layer again and starting with rgb off you need to drag that animation and drop it in in the sort of menu and do the same for rgb on if you can't find them and you've saved them somewhere weird because sometimes they save a bit strange you can search them in the little box but there you go. Next, you'll need to right click on RGB off and create a transition to RGB on and then do one going back. So right click RGB on and drag one, make transition to RGB off. For the first one, so your off to on, you want to set the conditions over here on the right, click little plus and do RGB true. And then one going the other way, you want to set the conditions to RGB false. So there we go, we've done it. We can now click on our original model, we can hide our duplicate and we can export that into VRChat and it will work spot on. If you want to add things like hair or the top or anything like that, please don't delete your duplicate model. Um, you can Obviously, if you're happy with it, you with the completed look, you can delete your duplicate. But if you think you're going to want to make any changes to your animation, I would really suggest just keeping that duplicate because um, it will make it a lot easier when you want to change the animation because they won't be sort of created on your first model. So keep your second one and you can always go back in and add additional features and it will update. So here's what it looks like. Uh, I really hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want to come and check me out live, I stream over on uh, Twitch. My name is Pokina Pup over there. We stream a lot of VR chat, Beat Saber. We do a lot of stupid shit, meme, meme streams, all of that stuff. So I really hope this was helpful. Again, if you're looking for this tutorial where you can select a color, please have a look below. And I really, really hope that helps. Um, I'll see you all soon. Have a good day. Ta-da!